all right guys how are you doing so in this video we're going to be talking about arcs and this is more aimed towards games video games because in video games it'll be more aimed towards idols when we're using arcs in the hips so i'll give an example with a model but i just wanted to go through all basic kind of arcs that i personally use i know other animators use different ones there's all kinds of arcs so you can have one that's like a u going like a u like this or upwards down or any you know animators have different ways of animating but i use these basic ones circle squashed down vertical and figure eights right so these are kind of my four kind of go-to uh, trajectories for hips so whenever i'm starting an idol for a uh, character i get the pose ready i research get the pose ready and then i will start work on the hips first making so sure that for example when i'm doing a breathing one which we'll do later on in this video a breathing exercise i'll get the weight i'll get the hips going first make sure that's right because as we know the center of gravity if that's not working properly it's going to affect everything up and down the chain right up the spine or mainly up the spine but yeah and the legs as well so without further ado let's dive straight in and let me show you the different types of arcs so here as you can see i've done an animation quickly of four different arcs and i just uh, animated a ball just to give a representation of the hips so let's check this out so we're playing as you can see this all these uh, different types of arcs right now so now how does this relate to the hips okay and what we'll do we'll go to the model and i'll show you how we apply it to the model and then we can go to for example a figure eight so we'll just get that so you're just using that as a basis okay figure eight figure eights are normally let me just scale these in yeah, figure eights are normally the popular ones right but again let's go back to the to the previous one so you've got that and you can also have one you might you might want to do it the other way around you might want to do it forward and back you know there's another one on the right side so that's a that's a common one too so what we'll do we'll just go to graph editor right we haven't got anything in the front, right? So if we go to the side here, so if we go to the side, side, right? We could add, let's get rid of this. Oh, what's happening there? Oh, no, we, need, we needed that. We need to move that here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so we could have it where, okay, we want it to be forward. Then it comes in. Then it goes back. Goes back down. So the front and back are the same, right? Now, now you've got that. You know it's not, you know it's not um, accurate. So you just bring it back down and then at the bottom right so you're getting that so here you might want to move it Where's it got? Yeah. so if we do this We've got that happening. We might want that same as there, right? So using the same keys. Clean these up a bit. Yeah, so yeah. So you've got a pose like this, and you may want to bring it down a bit. You know, you want to get a nice round, something round, right? So you've got that happening. And now what you might want to do. And then you've got that side to side 
back and forth. And then in our quick way is to select, select the hips. And then what you can do is say if you've got the X axis. And add a bit of rotation so you might be you might be back here first then it goes forward and then we might want if we go back here so it's back so we can copy the start pose to the end pose and we just get a bit of rotation going let's put that in the middle the x-axis so look there's a little bit of rotation there right and all you do is just to get a quick animation just copy that x-axis and then you can go up so if you go up here yeah, you can rotate select the middle one select the top shoulder control go to the start key it make sure this key is on there and just go to the axis the x-axis and paste it and what you'll notice and if you cycle this so if we cycle here so if you just go to cycle cycle press these buttons there what you'll notice what you notice is there's rotation right you can see the rotation on the upper body but it's all happening at the same time so what i tend to do is i just get the middle one and i move that one frame and get the top one and i'll move that two frames because it's offsetting the one below right one two so if we have a look now, a little bit of an option, offset, right? And what I'll do, I forgot, let's key the head and let's just paste on the head and cycle that. So if we cycle, I'm going to move this three, one, two, three, because the offset from the one below. And then what you can do with the head. You can play around you can be like all right i've got the head maybe i want to move it down and then maybe i want to move this up a bit and then you can do the same for the shoulder you can move this up see how it looks right you may even want to you could even get there you could even get this and move it another offset it a bit more get the head offset that another and if you look There's a little bit of breathing there and it's a little bit of offset, right? That's just a quick way that you can do it. Or of course you can just do it by I2. So if we if we get the head, delete all the keys, and then I don't know, key. How's it what's it going? It's going up. Okay, so if we have it a bit up as it comes down. And then what we'll do, let's copy that to the end, the start pose to the end. And maybe here it could be delayed going up still. Maybe that's going down a bit too much, make it a bit more subtle. And if we go and check out, we can play around with the curves and then we can have a look. Yeah, so you can just play around. You can even delete that one. You could even switch it around see how it looks the other way around you can play around like this see that doesn't work and then you just might want to delay this so you can cycle or delay this and yeah you're just playing around you're just trying to get that breathing whatever you want to get but basically the idea is you just want to offset that a bit see there there's a bit of that happening right and then you can use the jaw you can add this all this stuff this is detail for later but as it comes down this is i'm just showing you this because this happens uh it helps because of the breathing right so that's all it is you're just copying the hips in the art uh, i mean you can do other directions to other axes isn't it? mainly like in the front x and you're just copying the the arcs that we talked about these arcs pick which one you want 
and then you're just trying to you're just trying to get the basic movement in the hips first and then you start working then you start working your way up up the chain you know as long as the hips is working first then you start working up the chain and then the same thing with the arms you know you can get the arms the arms are like the same you could even a quick way to do the arms is select all of them key and then key at 40 key the same and then you could be like all right let's make all of this go back oh let's not forget the shoulder either yeah so we key that and the shoulder at the start is kind of forward yeah okay so we've got this movement happening in the shoulder now we've got if we select all of the controls We'll just cycle that so all of them are cycled and we'll leave the shoulder where it is but what we'll, we'll do with the upper arm we'll just move that one the second one okay that wasn't keyed let's go back here let's check these out let's make sure that's selected and the wrist and let's key this is it key there? Key there? Yeah, okay. All right, let's actually, you know what? Let's move this in a bit so we can see a bit of change. There you go. All right, now what I want to do, let's move this to one, two, because we moved the first one, one, right? One, two. And let's move this hand, three, one, two, three okay now if we look now there's a bit of a delay there right so it's breaking up you're breaking up the joint and what you can do with the hand is you can come in here and be like okay let me try and move this arm down a bit let me see if it's, if it's creating a bit of a more of a delay more breaking of the joints and then you could do the same for the top one you could start playing around bring this down right this is just i'm just over exaggerating i just but you can see you know you can get you can get a pretty quick uh, breathing uh, animation happening quickly just by following that guidelines of the hips and then copying that to the top. But anyway, I just wanted to use that as an example just to show you that, you know, the hips, let's go back. If we go back here, you know, these are the main kind of movements I use. You know, other, other animators have other ones, but I normally use these and uh, they work well for me. So. Just get a model, play around, you know. I always start off with a simple shape, like a, it could be even be a square, but a circle, obviously it represents a bouncing ball. So I use that. I figure out the arc I want, because it's just it's just simpler without all the rig there. You see? And, but, but some people do it straight on the rig. It, it completely depends on how you, how, you, uh, how you want to do it. You know, there's no right or wrong. But I normally try and get my arcs all nice ready here. And also, uh, of course, I mean, I do it in, I know this is a front view, but I also do do it in the Z axis so I just went over my mind there but normally I do it on all axes so I get it moving nicely normally the the front one yeah you I normally do a figure eight when I'm going forward as well so I use figure eights quite a lot uh, and all of these slim uh, let's put uh, let's see if um, the motion trailer yeah a lot of these slim ones I tend to use the circle ones I don't use as much it's normally these three that I use this one this one and this one I use all right guys so if you found that helpful please like share subscribe and thank you so much channel is growing quite rapidly now so that's really good you know it's and a fitness update is coming up soon as well so i'll let you know how i'm doing with that this week because i gotta be accountable all right guys take care be healthy and most importantly enjoy animating i'll catch you in the next video